All right, boo. Hey, boo. Hey, hey. All right. So we about to do a little nosy reading. Okay. I love to be nosy. We're going to find out who can't stop thinking about you. Who can't get you off their mind? Who can't stop, you know, sitting there just ruminating on you and your energy and all your goodness? We're going to find out who is it that can't stop thinking about you. So go ahead and tap into your intuition and you can choose between image number one, uh uh-huh, image number two, hey, or image number three, baby. Okay, choose the one that's calling out to you most or it might be multiple people thinking about you. You can choose multiple piles as well. Remember, this is what a general collective reading. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't behind. And this reading is timeless. So whenever you run into it, there may be messages for you. All right, boo. Let's go ahead and choose between image number one, image number two, or image number three. And let's get started with these reveals. All right, pile one. Hey, boo. Hey, we are about to find out who can't stop thinking about you because we know that we might as well find out. You get what I'm saying? Because why not? So what else is there to do right now? What else is there really to do? So Spirit, give us insight here for pile one. Who can't stop thinking about them right now? Who can't stop thinking about pile one right now? Who can't stop thinking about them? So we're starting off, look at this, starting off strong, page of pentacles. You see this? This person's obsessed, honey. Okay, I always see this as my my precious, if you ever seen the ring. But in the ring, it's about, you know, people being obsessed with this magical ring. And it's all about obsession with this ring. So this person is obsessed with you, okay? If they're not actually watching you, for a lot of you, this person is actually watching you a lot. Maybe watching your pictures, watching you on social media, maybe watching you in person. If you work with this person, we're going to find out more information here. But I can tell you right now, this person watches you, okay? So if you think they're not watching you, they are. This could be also, I mean, it could be a neighbor watching you. Who knows? But we gonna find out but this person is obsessed with you they watch you a lot and it also makes them very happy here um to see you in any capacity ah oh, this person is stressed about something they worried let's talk about this who is this person who can't stop thinking about pile one mm, they making a lot of judgments about y'all's situation who's obsessed with pile one see this person wants to rush in they want to rush in for some sort of happiness with you, but they scared, okay? This person is scared for some reason. We're going to find out why they're scared, but they reflect a lot on the fact that they would love to just rush in and try to create some sort of happiness with you. Like, that's what they want to do, but they hold it back. Tell us here about this person's fears. Let's clarify this Nine of Swords. What is these fears? What is this person worried about? What are these fears here? What are these fears? What is this person worried about? Mm, devil energy mm. what is this what kind of devil energy what are these fears what is this person worried about ten of pentacles okay for some of you <laughs> it's a few different scenarios okay for some of you this person is worried about creating stability or their ability to some of them is worried about their finances feeling like it's not enough okay some of them are feeling like maybe they can't be enough for you Hmm. Some of them already got a family, okay? Or they already got a stable with somebody else. What's going on here? Who is this person that's obsessing? Why are they? We got this, the fool and the knight of pentacles. Okay, see, this person, this person wants to rush towards you, but they feel like they need to move slow for some reason, like to gather and fix this situation that they're feeling inadequate about or feeling like things are not on track with. So they're trusting here that slowly over time, this energy will clear. It will dissipate. And so with the, with this, it's like they are telling themselves they're moving forward towards you slowly. So this could be someone that you're dealing with, dating lightly, talking to. This could be someone that's being a friend right now, but they're not really... Um, trying to figure out or show you that they're trying to do more, but somewhere in their minds, you slowly moving forward. Okay. There's, there's something here where they feel like you are moving forward. Tell us more about who's can't stop thinking about pile one. We got a knight of wands. 
a queen of wands. Mm, let's see what's going on here. And the chariot. So this person definitely wants things to move forward, but they also feel like you're a lot more mature than them. Okay. Because they feel like they're in the night energy and you're in a queen energy, no matter what sex, this is just an energy. Okay. So there's this element here of this person feeling like they are ready for things to move forward, but they also feel like you're a bit of the leader here or you're above them like this person definitely feels like you're more mature or you have more to offer like they really put you on a pedestal here yes they they look up to you so this creates a lot of these fears and worries of not being enough or having some sort of messed up situation they might actually have it but maybe feel like they can't really talk to you about it so they hold back a lot of things but they're thinking about you constantly and consistently Let's get another deck here. We're going to find out some more information because we can and we will. Okay, tell us more here about who's, who can't stop thinking about power one. What's going on with this person? Give us more insight here. See, this is somebody losing it. I'm telling you, you definitely know this person. Okay, this person's losing their mind. We got the schizophrenia card. Like, they are losing it. They overthink it. Why is this person losing their mind? Tell us. Why are they losing their mind? Why? What is going on? They need to heal. Yeah, see, this person's not healed. And so they know this. They know that there's things off. That's why they see you as healed. They see you as ready. They see you as somebody that's got your ish together. And they feel like they really don't, which they probably don't. Okay? They probably don't. But we're going to find out more here. What's going on with this person? Who can't stop thinking about them? Yeah, see, this person's fake. They fake as a $3 bill. And I hate to say this. This person feels like they can't just be themselves. This person has low self-confidence, unfortunately. They hide behind certain things this person just doesn't know how to it's like they're not even really telling you what's going on they're not like this person is in their head too much because they don't know how to just be real this person will pretend like they're happy when they're really not hmm so i really feel like this is someone that really 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 wants to be with you or really wants to try to work something out with you talk to you figure something out but they too scary or, or too insecure to really step up to the plate but I feel like they're they're this way in life and they know this. They know this is something that they need to heal. So it's like they don't love themselves enough so they don't see how you could possibly love them. So they're trying to slowly be someone that they feel you could possibly love. This is starting to turn sad. Wait a minute. What's going on, pile one? What? Who is? Yeah, see, this person got trust issues. Oh, They don't trust people enough to allow themselves to be seen for who they really are. This person doesn't trust enough. So for some of you, this person may not even really have shown their true selves at this point. Tell us about this politics. What kind of stuff is they hiding? What is going on? Because we need to know. Okay. What is this? Oh, yeah. This tried to fly. What is this? See, this person really is miserable. Oh, I feel bad for this person. This is taking a sad turn. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay. I'm calm. All right. Now... This person is feeling left out, down and out. They really don't feel loved and accepted by the world. Okay. They feel naturally not good enough here. And so it's like this person here just doesn't know how to be vulnerable, show themselves, show love, accept love. Yeah. This person is stressed, miserable. I feel bad for this person. They really are going through it. And maybe it is, maybe they right. They need to heal first because if not, they're going to transfer all this drama to your life. Cause all this distress, this overthinking, this low self-confidence, this negative thought process. This person has a lot to heal here. But in the meantime, they think you all of that. And they really obsessed with you. Okay, what's the obsession about? Let's talk about that. We don't want to keep sitting in their sad feelings because that's stressing me out. What is the obsessed th thoughts about? See, this person feels like you're some sort of gift from source, a gift from God, a gift from the universe. Like they feel like you're in their life for a reason. Yeah, they're just trying to open up their own awareness, their own consciousness. This person feels like they have to heal or grow or be better or do better before they can 
say anything. And so they're rebelling against all of this negative energy right now. But as they're doing this, it's like they're using you as a beacon of inspiration. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. They use you like as a beacon of inspiration. Yeah. Because they're tired of holding back all these feelings. It's stressing them out. It's making them feel miserable and run down and just, excuse me, tired. They tired of not being able to be themselves, to be seen. Like, I really feel bad for this person. Mm. What is this person here thinking? What are they thinking? Oh, they're thinking about how they have so much fun with you or how you bring this kind of fun air of energy, how you are confident to take risks, be adventurous, do things that they wish they would could do. They're thinking about how humble you are, how sweet and amazing you are. <laughs> they think about how you know how to keep down the drama. I don't think it's a drama lover. I think it's humble when it comes to drama. Okay. Like you're somebody that likes to keep down the drama. Yeah, I knew it. That's why. So that clarifies that boring here that you're not bringing drama. Okay. They love this about you. They really do. They think you're super funny and that you're a boss. Okay. So this person here is really, really looking up to you and your energy. And that's where that is. And that's what it is. And I'm like, let's see if they plan on speaking up about what they're thinking about you. Is this person ever going to speak up? We know they're healing and going through it. But three of coins. Once they feel like things are more stable. Yeah, they're hermiting until they feel like things are more stable. They're not going to speak up until... Yeah, because they still feel like you have more value. Mm. There's going to be some conversations about certain things, though. This person is very defensive still because they feel like they need to be more and do more. So it could take some time, but they're thinking about you constantly, baby. They're thinking about you constantly and consistently and looking up to you, but just feeling not good enough in many ways, unfortunately. Let's definitely send them some healing energy right now. We sending healing energy to whoever's thinking about pile one, baby. We sending it right now. We sending it. All right, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Check out the links below. You can get a reading for $1.99. You can check out my website that has all kinds of goodies down there. Okay, please leave some stars, some donations. All of that helps. I'm sending you love, light, and blessings. I'm going to talk to you later, boo. Bye. All right, pile two. We about to be real nosy and find out the real deal, baby. We're going to find out who can't stop thinking about you. Pile one was real juicy, so I'm ready, baby. I need to know all the details. Okay, Spirit, give us insight for Pile two. Who can't stop thinking about them? Who can't stop thinking about Pile two? We got the star. So this is someone that definitely feels like you are a shining light in their life. I feel like this person is very hopeful towards your connection. Who can't stop thinking about pile two? We got the page of wands. This is definitely someone that wants to communicate. Let's see here. The knight of pentacles. Okay, who can't stop thinking about pile two? The Two of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, can't stop thinking about Pile Two, the Nine of Wands, the King of Wands, the Two of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. Okay, see... <laughs> This could be tied to pile one, but it don't have to be. If you was called to it, baby. But this is someone that definitely looks up to you. They want to bring some sort of balance here in their connection with you. But they're feeling defeated because they're feeling very defensive about what they bring to offer. Um, I feel like this person has a lot of passion and desire towards you. But at the same time, they're not feeling very grounded or feeling very good enough here to move something forward or bring balance in a certain way. 
who's constantly thinking about pile two? Yeah, see, this person wants to have some sort of happy ending with you. A ten of cups, okay? This person wants to have some sort of happy ending with you, but there's something where there's a disbelief that they can have it. Who's can't stop thinking about pile two? But they want to triumph. They want to have this ten of cups with you. They're trying to figure out a way to make this happen here with this ace of swords. Ace of swords is about triumph and coming at things from a new angle here that leads towards success, victory. So I feel like this person does feel like there's some lack here, but they're also figuring out how to balance that and how to move forward. They're feeling defeated right now, but they also have enough desire and passion within them to try to fight past that feeling of defeat. Okay. So it's like this person looks at you as like an aspiration to have or to build with in certain ways. Yes, this person has a lot of pent up emotions here towards you. There's also a lot of signage in here. That's why I don't go for the signs. Yeah, this person has a lot of pent up emotion for you. <laughs> but they also feel like they have to come correct towards you. Like this person feels like you're not really the type of person to play games or be on that BS. Like you don't got time for nonsense. You're not going to be one of those people that just instantly fall into any types of traps, fall into love. None of that. You using common sense here. Okay. Logic and reason. Is this offering making sense? Is this offering positive for my life? Is this offering matching what I need? And this person knows this about you. They know this. They know that you're not playing or even if they don't know you maybe too heavily, say they just watch you from a distance or something, they still know that you're not the type that they can really play with. So this person's got all these emotions pent up. They have all this desire. They're feeling like they can't really offer everything you need right now. But at the same time, they feel like they can, they can work towards it. They're trying to work towards being what they think you would need. But in the meantime, look at this at the bottom. They said why they working towards it. This person wants to be close to you right now. Right, right now, right now, okay? See, <clears throat> this person here, it seems like they may be going through some sort of transitions in their life as well that's messing up their stability or their foundation. Um... And this is something that they're focused on as well as they're thinking about you. Like, I don't know. They almost get this energy where they're hoping having some sort of connection with you would help save them in certain ways. Who can't stop thinking about pile two? Intensity. Mm-hmm. This person's... <laughs> This person's trying to tap into source and get some divine guidance. This person wants to blossom and change, okay? So this person feels like you're a catalyst in their life to have them step their game up, change, be better, do better, because their feelings for you are very intense, okay? They have these intense feelings and thoughts towards you. I just heard the word devotion. They have the sense of devotion towards you, but they also see you as someone in a queen of swords, which is buried. Okay. And no matter if you're masculine, feminine, the, the king, the queen of swords is just not about any BS. Like this is the energy I like to epitomize. I'm not in the mood. Okay. So it's like, they know you're not in the mood. So this is an intense energy where they feel like they need to make some changes here. And so they're tapping into source. They're trying to work towards whatever they feel is not good enough so that they can blossom so that they can flower so that they can really match your energy here and and come towards you with something why do they want to match their energy is they going to be what do they what do they want to bring what, why this person no longer wants to feel out of your life or misunderstood when it comes to y'all's connection i feel like there may be some distance between you and this person maybe emotional distance here wanting to build some sense of understanding yeah see this person wants deep connection they're tired of feeling lonely tired of feeling like y'all don't have this deeper sense of connection this deeper sense of unity this person wants to try to come to some sort of understanding here with you to try to build something more to focus more on the connection but right now they're not saying anything. Yeah, this person is. Ay, ay, ay. 
they're going to not say anything until they feel like they're more of a match. Why aren't they saying anything? What's going on here? They're still working with Source and trying to become more aware. Yeah, they're still fighting themselves. Okay? This person has internal battles that they're working through right now. They're fighting themselves. They no longer want to feel lonely and distant from you. But at the same time, they're feeling some sort of insecurities like they still need to work on some things. And so this leads to this constant battle here within them, which then comes to y'all's connection. Huh, what is this person thinking here about pile two? What are they thinking about pile two? Oh, they're thinking about how compassionate, loving, gentle, kind you are of a person. Oh, they're thinking about how sexy you are, how hot, <laughs> okay? How beautiful, cute, handsome, whoever, whatever. They're thinking about all that. They're thinking about how strong you are, okay? They feel like, and that goes back to that Queen of Swords energy. This person does not feel like you're the one to try to play with, take advantage of, break heart. None of that. They know they better not, okay? They know you will kick some butt here. You are not playing with nobody. And that could be um, figuratively. You ain't got to really be out here kicking butt unless you're a real boxer or something. But anyways, yeah, it's like this person sees you. <laughs> as i was just saying you're not playing with no one okay i love this okay yes you're sweet and compassionate but you balance baby this is what i call the yin and the yang honey yes i'm sweet and compassionate but also don't play with me i am not in the mood so this person thinks you're amazing in every way and you actually tickle them like your energy tickles them because they can't believe it. Like they think you are so hot, so balanced, so strong, so sweet and compassionate, like for real. And so they be thinking about this. Tell us more here about who's thinking, who can't stop thinking about pile two. Oh, this person just wants to dive in. Like they just want to jump right into this but they're too defensive okay <laughs> they keep wanting to focus on the stability this long-term stability this finance they're trying to learn how to grow into somebody that matches your energy bring a lot more value Ending to things that aren't really working. This person is still very much overthinking. Focused on trying to heal oneself. Focused on different things. But they are thinking about you very heavily while they're working through all of their things. And you're like this catalyst or this trigger here that helps them to want to be better and better, gooder and gooder and all of that good stuff. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Your support means the world. Leave a donation, send some stars. All of that good stuff is appreciated. You can check out my website for all kinds of goodies. Check out the link below to get a reading for $1.99. All right, boo, I'm gonna talk to you later. Bye. All right, pile three. Hey, boo. Hey. So we are about to find out here who can't stop thinking about you. Okay. We're going to find out what they're thinking, you know, and as much clues as we can about who they are. So let's go ahead and get started here. Spirit, give us insight for pile three. Let's get real nosy. Who can't stop thinking about pile three? Who can't? Oh, that flew right out. And this one don't want to go back in. So we're going to take both of these. We've got a page of wands and a page of pentacles. So <laughs> this person definitely is thinking about talking to you. This could be someone that loves communicating with you or they're just thinking about talking to you. This is definitely someone that looks up to you. They may be watching you either on social media or looking at some old photos or just watching you in person if this is someone that you are around on a daily basis you can see they really do look towards you I always say the page of pentacles is the my precious card from lord of the rings and yes it's like this person is a bit obsessed with you honey okay and they definitely want to be talking with you or communicating with you um if they're not and if they are more often okay maybe they just want to say hey let's talk about who can't stop thinking about pile three 
Oh, this person is stressing about something. They stressed and worried. Okay, what is this person stressed about? Yeah, fly out. Give me all the answers, baby. Hmm, stressed about you leaving them behind or you turning your back on them, not worried about them? Because this is signifying when Dorothy had to leave Stan, honey. And we know Dorothy divorced Stan. She didn't need him no more. She moved forward. So this could be someone that you're not worried about. You turned your back on them or they're scared that you may turn your back on them or not be worried about them in the future. Tell us more here about who can't stop thinking about pile three. Yeah, see, this is somebody where you turned your back on them for sure. <laughs> I'm telling you, you, it's like this person is obsessing over you and stress, but you're not really worried about them and they know this, okay? The first they see you turning your back right here, going in the opposite direction. And now you're like, you know what? Mm, I'm good. I'm doing me. I'm going in this direction. So this could be someone where you just pulled your energy back. It could be someone you completely just not dealing with or worried about, okay? Um, but at the end of the day, they can feel that you're not worried about them and they sick about it. They obsessing over you and obsessing over the situation. Who can't stop thinking about pile three? All these cards is flying out. See, this person is deep in thought. They thinking about what they did wrong or what went wrong. They're thinking about how things can get back right. They're just, tell us more here. What is going on with this person? Yeah, see, they want to bring balance. They want to fix whatever went wrong or what they perceive went wrong. Like, it, for some of you, something might not even went wrong. Maybe you just started focusing more on yourself and other things that you had to do. But they feel like they need to bring things in balance. I told you, this person is watching you. <laughs> They're watching you, okay? They're watching. And so, whatever this is, they want to fix it. They want to fix it. They want to get close to you again. Hmm. Who can't stop thinking about pile three? Yeah, this person is feeling left out in the cold. They feeling like you don't care about them, not worried about them, ain't thinking about them. Like this person, the more you're not worried about them, the more they're obsessing over you and thinking about you, it seems. Oh, another car flew out. Yes, because you are the empress. Look at that. Because you got all the goodies. You got all the good energy. And that's why you're good. You're like, I'm good because I got my good energy. But this person needs your good energy. That's why they're like, damn, like... You really ain't worried about me? Like, you really just turned your back? Like, you really saving all your good energy for yourself? And you're like, uh, yeah, duh. Okay, and this person is now sick and sad and miserable. Okay? And like I said, this could be someone where there's just some distance. You ain't had to fully cut them off, but you just ain't worried about them like that. And see, they want to come together. They want to work together. They want you to have a collaborative energy with them, but they feel like you don't. They feel like you're worried about numero uno, which, hey, you got to, baby, because that's what other people be worried about. Maybe that's what this person was worried about. That's why you decided to focus elsewhere, but they really wish you hadn't. Tell us more here of who can't stop thinking about pile three. Yeah, see, this is somebody that know they've been real lazy and just haven't really done much for this connection or haven't really... They know they haven't really brought it. Yeah, there's been no balance. I feel like this person is feeling like they need to learn how to be a lot more receptive to your needs. That they need to learn how to go more with the flow here. This person's having a lot of those aha moments. <laughs> when it comes to this connection. Hmm. They're having aha moments. They're really feeling like certain things is their fault because they haven't been putting the energy and effort. They've been leaning back. They're feeling like maybe they should stop resisting and start going more with the flow here. Yeah, they got a new vision of maybe the thing, the way they should act here. Okay? Because now it's like you turned your back. They stress and they're like, well, damn, maybe the plan I had wasn't a good plan because now I'm the one stressed. I'm the one over here pressed. So now they're like, wait a minute. Maybe I should see this a little bit different. Maybe I should be more receptive. Maybe I should go with the flow here. Maybe I should stop being so grouchy. That's what I say. Or a lot of times people like to play these games now in the dating world in, in the 2020s where they like to pull you in and then get lazy. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay. If you ain't going to do the same things you did to get my attention, then don't waste your time, baby. So this person is realizing, hey, I need to start doing things differently. I need to, <laughs> yeah, see, I need to be more friendly. I need to spend more time here. We need to fix this connection. Yeah, see, this person is thinking about transformation. 
they thinking about creating change here because they're really realizing that what they've been doing hasn't been working. And so this person is thinking about that. So pile three, this is definitely somebody <laughs> that you know and that you just really not getting giving much attention to, but they really want your attention at the end of the day. Yeah, but this person is also trying to let go of their control issues. They're a control freak. They're a control freak. And they're trying to let that go because they're realizing they can't control you. You thought you thought you were controlling the situation with me. You thought I was going to be accepting the bare minimal. You thought I was going to be accepting attitude and all that. And it's like, nope, you got jokes, okay? I know how to walk away. I know how to stand on my own two feet. I know how to do me. And so now this person is like, damn, that didn't work. That backfired. So maybe I need to release control, learn how to go with the flow and get my act together. Yes, I need to trust more. I need to step out on a limb and, and, and stop doing the same old nonsense. So you're really triggering this person to realize that they little control games and all this is not working and that they need to come with it. OK, because they're going to be sitting there stressed while you go on to do you. You're good. Let's see what this person is thinking here. What are they thinking about pile three? What is this person thinking about pile three? Oh, they think you're very strong. You're a very hard worker. Okay, for some of you, you could know this person from work. They think you're super interesting. They love talking to you, which was said at the beginning. They feel like every time they talk to you, they learn something new. They grow in some way. And so they miss this. They're like, damn, I really just want to talk to them like more. Like they want your energy and attention. This person thinks you know you're deserving this. Yes, honey, this is my favorite card in the deck, baby. Okay, yes. This person thinks you know you're deserving this. So come with it or get gone at the end of the day. Okay? This person thinks you are a great friend, that you're somebody that they can trust, that they can be close to, that they can open up with. I love it. It's, they love that sometimes they feel like things are just chill, boring, no drama. Okay? This person does not like drama, and so they know you don't like drama because you're not going to do drama. You're just going to turn around and go in the other direction, and that's what they notice, and that's what they like. Like, damn, okay. I also feel like for some of you, this person is just a friend, and they're tired of that. They feel like it's boring at that level. They would love to escalate things to something more, but at the same time, they need to fix their energy first because if you already turned your back, you know what I'm saying, or you're not really focused on that, then... If they want to take it to the next level, they're going to have to do something better. They're going to have to step it up. Tell us more here about who can't stop thinking about pile three. What's their next actions towards pile three? Next actions. Page of Wands, again, communication. They're going to want to communicate what they want to communicate about. What do they want to communicate about here? Ace of Cups, they want a new start. They want a new romantic experience, a new emotional experience, something they want to sit here and get back in your good graces. Ace of Wands, yeah, see, they want a fresh start. They want a new start. What kind of new start? Is this new start even worth Pile Three's time? Because we don't got time for the drama or the negativity. Is this new start worth Pile Three's time? Eight of Wands, hmm, it brings some forward movement. Three of Wands, that's patience and progress towards the future. Okay. Page of Cups. So it looks like here there is some potential. I will give this potential here. Okay. So this person is coming back with some sort of offerings. They want to discuss things. They want to see what the potential is for the future of y'all's connection. And then it's up to you from there what you want to do with it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. The world is your oyster, baby. It's up to you. What do you want to do with this situation with this person as they communicate and try to have this fresh start with you? Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Check out the link below. You can get a reading for $1.99 or check out my website that has all kinds of goodies. Please leave a donation. Leave some stars. All the support helps. I'm going to talk to you later, boo. Bye.